Now, Frank Sumner was from the area. He had kids around Molly's age. He died in 2016 and had a criminal past that included kidnapping and rape. I hope that we're getting closer and I hope that we're coming to an end to this really really tragic story. That hope for Heather Bish comes just weeks before the anniversary of her sister Molly's disappearance from Cummins Pond in Warren 21 years ago. Molly vanished from her lifeguard post just minutes into her shift on June 27, 2000. Investigators now naming Frank Sumner, who lived in nearby Spencer, a person of interest in her murder. My family doesn't recollect seeing him or knowing him. Um, so we don't, we don't know why or how he could have done this. Sumner had several auto repair shops in the area and was convicted of kidnapping and raping a 21 year old woman who came to the shop to get her car fixed back in 1981. Court records show he lured her to a nearby apartment and attacked. He said, give it to me or I'll kill you. Sumner looks like the man who Molly's mother Maggie spotted at the pond the day before Molly disappeared. Did your mom have any reaction when she saw that picture since she saw the man at the pond the day before? You'll see her talking about the glare in his eyes and the way he stared at her. Uh, certainly it looks like this man had sort of a menacing stare. Um, and of course, the features of the nose and the eyebrows and the hairline um, all match the sketch. The new lead comes as investigators return 57 items that were seized from Molly's bedroom as possible evidence in her murder. It's great to see the pictures. Photos, old IDs, her sunglasses, and much more. Memories of happier times and a reminder of the loss and what a killer took away. Heather Bish hopes this is finally the break her family has been praying for for more than two decades. One that will bring her family justice and some sense of peace. We're getting closer no matter what. Um, so I'm confident in that. Um, but I'm, I'm scared, honestly. I'm, I'm kind of scared to know what happened to my sister. I'm and police have received thousands of tips in Molly's case, many about Frank Sumner. Sumner was released on parole back in 1998. He died of natural causes in 2016 and was cremated. If you have any information about Sumner or this case, call the anonymous tip line at 508-453-7575. Kathy Curran, Five Investigations.